How's it going guys, TechBits here. So in this episode, I'll be featuring my top 5 lock screens for 2016. As usual, the links to all the apps will be put in the description down below. So starting things off, we have Start. So this is what the basic lock screen layout for Start looks like. It kind of reminds me of the old school Android lock screen. So as you guys can see, towards the left of the screen, we got some shortcuts like uh, Notification Manager, Quick Settings, Music Player, Facebook, Gmail, Weather, etc. So you can also add a lot more shortcuts from the settings. The lock screen, however, doesn't open up external applications, which can be a bummer to some. For example, the music player doesn't lead to your default music player, but to a built-in player within the lock screen. My favorite feature of this lock screen is the unlocker, from where you can access your favorite apps, contacts, camera, social apps, etc. This app also allows you to make a pin or pattern for protecting your device. Next up we have Locker Master. So if you're the type of guy who likes to mess around with your lock screen now and then, this app is for you. This lock screen supports a community run theme store, which means that a huge amount of lock screen themes are at your disposal. There are around a total of 716,000 lock screen themes available to download. Now that's a lot guys. Apart from this, you can also create your own lock screen by selecting a photo from the gallery and adding unlock patterns, text, decoration and effect to it. You can also access a page with quick toggles, app shortcuts and an inbuilt RAM booster by swiping towards the right which is pretty handy. This lock screen does tend to lag out a bit here and there. Other than that, this lock screen is more than enough to keep you entertained. Next up we have cover. So this is a very simple to use lock screen. So just like start, we have some of your most used apps on the left side of the screen. Swiping up will reveal more pages containing apps. This lock screen also supports different profiles like home, work, car, etc. With profiles, you'll be able to arrange apps depending on where you use them. For example, when you switch to your work profile, you can set the lock screen to display your work apps. You can either change it manually or you can let the app change it automatically for you depending on where you are. There's also a handy app switcher included in the app for faster multitasking. Overall guys, this lock screen is really fast and snappy. Next up we have picturesque lock screen made by the software giant Microsoft. So this is a super simplistic lock screen. As usual we have a familiar camera shortcut in the bottom left and at the bottom right we have a shortcut which gives information about our current lock screen wallpaper. Speaking of wallpapers, this is what this lock screen specializes in. It displays beautiful Bing images like these as your wallpaper. The wallpaper gets updated regularly bringing new ones to your screen. Swiping down from the top, we can access some quick toggles and some selected apps. We can also enable a bunch of other options like news, live score, etc. to be displayed on your lock screen from the settings. So with that, we come to my favorite lock screen, AC Display. I've been using this app as my lock screen for quite a while now. Any new device I get, this is one of my first installed apps. This lock screen has a feature called Active Mode, kinda like the active notifications in Motorola smartphones. So this feature allows you to glance at your notifications without physically turning on your phone. For example, if you want a quick peek at your device, you just have to take it out of your pocket and voila, the display turns on by itself. You can also wave over the proximity sensor to wake your device up. I personally guarantee you that this feature doesn't drain your battery like crazy. This lock screen works really great with phones with AMOLED displays as you'll be able to save a crazy amount of battery life just by using the black background. The notifications on the other hand will be displayed to you in the form of small icons which when clicked displays the entire notification. Overall guys, you can never go wrong with this lock screen. So that's it for the video folks. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one. Yeah.